Hi everyone and welcome back to the virtual classroom where we look, listen and learn together. I was asked to draw a turtle last time. A turtle is a very special marine animal that lives in the sea and lays its eggs on the shore. It's a very beautiful creature and it glides through the ocean, travels quite a lot of distance. And I thought this turtle actually needed a habitat. A habitat is where the turtle likes to live. And one of the places that turtles like to live is the coral reef. And coral is important in our world because it does provide a habitat. Corals are invertebrates and they live in the water and they cluster together. Clustering means they're sort of joined together and they are made from a sort of calcium hard type of skeleton, but they're living. And they do help a lot of different marine animals like fish and turtles and uh, little tiny microscopic creatures that live in the ocean. And they help the coastlines as well when there's damaging storms. So I thought maybe we could put a coral reef around this beautiful turtle that we've painted here. I wonder if you've painted a turtle at home, but I might use my little book first to draw some of the coral. And coral looks very different. There are lots of different types of coral around the world. Some of the coral could be round and has little circles in it, like that. Some of the coral might, might cluster together, this coral. So remember clustering means that there are lots of different corals together, or the same species, all clustered together. I might even have one that looks a bit like that. Tube like, you can design your own corals and maybe one that hangs off there like that. And lots of corals like to live in the ocean, but they are affected by the sea temperatures. And then we might have some bumpy coral like that. Maybe some more dots in there. And then we might paint these corals. And you can choose what color you would like to paint the corals. These ones might be a purple color. I'm going to cut them out so it's okay that they don't have a border, some of them. These ones might be a blue colour. You can choose what colour your corals. Often corals are a bright colour, so you can choose some bright colours to colour your corals in. I might choose a red colour too. This one might be that orangey red colour. There we go. And then it might even have a sort of pinky outer colour there. Beautiful. This could be like a little poster that we're making to say protect the oceans. What do you think? Is that a good idea? So we have our turtle there that you see. And then I'm going to cut out some of these corals. And you might even have some paper that you've already used that you might like to even add as a collage. So we're making a collage here. So we cut out, cut around our coral, all the way around, swimming in the deep blue sea, the place I like to be. There we go, turtles. That's what we're looking at. 
the habitat for a turtle. I wonder what colour coral you would like to swim through. And coral has been affected a lot by sea temperatures rising, so we need to do all we can to make sure that we try and bring that coral back to life. We don't want it to go all grey. That means it's not really alive anymore, it's struggling to live. Don't want to drop the pictures on the ground either. Don't want to lose our coral. And we cut these last ones out. I wonder what your coral looks like. What shapes have you drawn for your coral? You might like to look up on the internet some of the coral that you've drawn. And I have these bits of paper here too that are quite fun to cut out. And you can cut, 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 cut. But don't cut all the way through. This is sort of a, a coral like this, sort of spiky. And you can trim, 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 trim. So it's all different sizes. There, beautiful. Now I'm going to sort of puzzle my coral, coral reef together here. And I have some blue tack, but you could use some glue because I might want to change my coral reef. So I'm just going to use blue tack for now. And I'm going to stick the coral onto the picture here the blue tack on the page it's almost like a changing picture you can choose to change it however you would like there's some more coral because when we use blue tack it means that we haven't finished with the picture yet we're still using it and then you can even put your spiky reef on there too turtle is swimming through a coral reef. You might like to add even some waves of blue to your picture showing where the turtle likes to swim. See those blue waves? There we go. It's quite a beautiful space for this turtle to live in we're recreating its habitat and the habitat means where the animals like to live and these animals are marine animals and they live in the ocean wonder what type of turtle this is whether it's the leatherhead turtle or the flatback turtle there we go, a turtle living in the coral reef. Maybe it's the green turtle because it's got a green shell on it. Can't wait to see some of your coral that you create as well. You can create your scene on your page. I'll see you next time. Bye.